Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how to solve problem D of N code October 2021. The name of the problem is I triple A factor sum. This problem, uh, there is a function S of N uh, which is used to find the sum of factors of a positive integer. So for example, let's say N is 1. So so 1 will be 1 because 1 has only one factor that is 1. And uh, S of 2 will be 3 because 2 has two factors, 1 and 2. If we add them up, we get 3. Same way for S of 3, we have S of 3 is equal to 4. S of 4 will be 1 plus 2 plus 4, which is 7. And let's say S of 6. So factors of 6 are 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6, which is uh, 12. So this is what S of uh, N looks like. Go ahead with the problem. Um, So we are given two integers L and R and we need to find the sum of sum of factors of all numbers between L and R. So we need to find the sum of S of i where L is less than or equal to i is less than or equal to r. So between L and r we have uh, the sum of factors we need to add all of them up. So what we can do for this problem is uh, we can use a method which is similar to sieve of variety of states to find the sum of factors of all the numbers up to uh, uh, 10 power 5. So what we can do is, okay, let's look at how to, you know, uh, you do sieve of variety of states. So we have a list of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine and so on um, this will go on up to 10 power 5 so see of Eratosthenes algorithm is used to find the prime numbers up to a certain number n so um, to uh, find sieve of Eratosthenes, uh, to find the prime numbers using sieve of Eratosthenes, we start with 2, which is the least uh, prime number. So uh, we exclude 1 from this because 1 is the universal number. So uh, we cannot include 1. So uh, we'll start with 2, then we strike out those elements which are. Uh, multiples of 2. So we strike out 4, 6 and 8 and then 10, 12 and so on. So uh, we go to the next element, we go to the next number which has not been striked out. So in this case it will be 3. So we go on striking out uh, the multiples of 3, which is 6, 9 and then so on. Then we have 5 remaining, 7 remaining. So uh, we'll look at uh, the other number as well, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we started with 2, we can strike off 10, 12, 14. And for 3, we strike out 6, 9, uh, 12 and 15. So we go on to 5, we strike out 10, we strike out 15 and there will be numbers which are greater than 15. 7, we strike out 14. So if we keep on doing that, we uh, the numbers which have not been striked out, which is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, notice that these are the prime numbers. So um, this algorithm is a very efficient one, it runs in of n log log of n 
so um n log log of n so for something like 10 power 5 this will run and uh, log of 10 power 5 will be 20 and log of 20 is around 5 so um, this will run in around like 5 into 10 to the power of 5 steps um, so it's a pretty efficient algorithm um, this algorithm we can you know uh, vary it a little bit so that we find the factors of uh, the sum of factors of all the numbers. So we we'll look at how we can vary uh, the Sivo for out of Steins algorithm. Uh, let's take the same numbers again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, and so on. So here what we can do is, let's take uh, one first. So we go on, we will initialize an uh, array uh, with zero. So let's say these are the elements of the array and their indices are one, two, three, four, and so on. So these are the array elements. Let's assume this. So what we can do is we'll start with one, then go on adding one to each multiple of one. So that will be uh, that will make all these elements one. So um, that will leave us with something which looks like this we add one to all the elements because all of these are multiples of one then we move on we go to two and then we add two to all the multiples of two so um we add two to one in these elements so it becomes three so this is three 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 then we go to the next element which is three then add um, three to all the multiples of three so that will make this four make this six um, it will make nine four it will make twelve six it will make fifteen four and eighteen it will make it two six so like that we keep on doing it to the remaining numbers then finally we'll get all um, uh, the sum of factors of all the numbers so it will look like uh, for one for one two three four five six it will look like one three Four, this is seven, six, and twelve. So these are the sum of factors of one, two, three, four, five, six. So, uh, so now let's look at how to calculate the prefix sums. So prefix sums um, can be calculated really easily. Um, we can just add, you know, uh, the previous number to uh, current one. For example, 
3, you can add 1, and we'll get 4, 4, you can add 4, you'll get 8, 8 with 7, 15, 15 with 6, 21, 33, and so on. So we get the prefix sum. So uh, then it becomes really easy to calculate the sum of factors uh, of a given range. Let's say we have a range 2 is 2, L is equal to 2 and R is equal to 4. Um, the factors lying in this range is nothing but uh, we just subtract uh, uh, this uh, prefix sum of r which is 15 and uh, 1 minus the prefix sum of l which is 1. So when we subtract these two we get the answer 15 minus 1 is equal to 14. So this is exactly uh, the sum of these uh, factor sums. So this is a pretty easy and straightforward question um have a look at the additional material section there are uh, algorithms like polar polar's row algorithm which uh, factorizes an integer much more efficiently than these ones thank you